Hi, my name is Ryan from Veering's RV. I'm here to show you your 2017 Endeavor. All right, we're going to start up here. We got your uh, washer fluid uh, for your sprayers up front for your windshield whoppers. Uh, you got other wires and stuff up here, fuses and stuff underneath here. Um, everything is marked, everything's labeled. Um, so every fuse has a location and has a description for each and everything. All right, the next compartment over here, you got your fuel door here. So that inside there, you on your keys, everything's there. Your fuel door, your propane is the next door. So this is if you fill it, any place is gonna come, they're gonna fill it right from here. Just hook it right up, you got your on off valve here. Everything's right and ready to go. Next compartment down, we've got just basement storage. On this side, you got your extra ladder, extra portion of your ladder on the bottom there. Uh, then you got tile and extra floor grout. If anything were to happen, you can be able to use that again. Um, same on this, this is the same thing. We got basement storage, pull drawer, lever, yellow lever here pulls your drawer out, comes all the way out there. Then just pull your lever again, pulls it and everything's stored in there. All right, and then up here, we've got one of your furnaces. This silver spot here where it says hot, this is gonna get hot. You don't wanna put anything next to it that's gonna burn or melt. Um, this is your exhaust for your furnaces. Okay, next compartment down. We got your wet bay. Your wet bay has got your um, your sewer connection here. So you got your black valve and your gray valve. They're both color coded. So you always want to pull your black first. That way it gets all the solids out, and then pull your gray second. Be able to wash out the toes. Now it comes with a 20 foot sewer hose, wood ends. Um, on the bottom there too, we have your fresh water tank drain right down on the bottom there. You got your red valve there that will actually drain your fresh tank. Um, here we got your Santa flush, which is for your black tank, actual cleaning out your black tank. City water inlet. These are your low point drains. Hot side, cold side, your outside shower, you got the, you have the hose that comes out. You'll be able to use that to wash anything out, wash your wash your hose out when you're done with it before you store it back in here. You got a water pump switched out here, just a momentary rocker switch. There. You got your water heater bypass up here. You got bypass and normal flow, just a matter of turning to whichever you need. Um, for the city side, you can actually fill your fresh tank as well um, with this valve here. That's a bypass. You turn it and fill the tank, or you turn it to bypass it just to run normal city pressure through. You got your water pump up here in the corner water filter you got your water filter wrench back here and then an extra water filter out back here as well a nice paper towel holder be able to hold you know dry your hands off that type of thing all right and up here this is your dryer vent so your dryer inside vents out of here it's just gonna blow all the hot air right out here um, down below, this is your power and your hose. So you got your hose reel here, 50 amp, 30 foot. And on the side there, you have a switch to run it in or out, or just to run it in. There's no actual run out. You just pull it out to wherever you need it, and then it lines it back up with that switch. 
Same with the water hose. The water hose, you just pull it out. And then there's a switch to reel it back in. It comes with a 30 to 15 adapter and then a 50 to 30 adapter. So you can plug into the house and plug into a 30 amp power wherever you're at. Next to that is your, um, is your transfer switch. Your transfer switch actually switches from either um, generator power or uh, shore power. Uh, back here, we got your DEF fluid for the diesels. Um, this does have to get filled, uh, just a matter of uh, just keep an eye on You got a gauge inside on the dash, along with a gauge on here. Um, it's a blue. Every, every diesel pump, every um, truck stop usually has it. Um, next to it here, we've got your starting batteries and then your house batteries. House batteries, you just pull this pin up and pull them right out. So you got everything there. Um, these are water filled batteries. What you want to do is always check and open these. Sometimes you may have to kind of maneuver things around. It's just a matter of pulling them out and checking the water. Now one water levels here is where you need to just just below the plastic cap underneath there. It's as high as you want it. But you want to make sure that every one of them are full. Um, the more water you keep in there, the, the more often you check, the better off these batteries are going to be and the longer they're going to last. All right, so close that up here. Come out to the back here. You got four more house batteries. So we want to check all these as well, make sure everything is good. Um, so it's always always good maintenance just to check it and make sure they're all they're all full of water. All right, so back here we've got uh, from starting from the top you got your backup camera. You can see from inside there's a little monitor inside. You can see uh, when you're backing up when you got something hooked up to the trailer, um, which it does have a seven-way plug for hooking up a trailer. With, along with a receiver. Um, you got your taillights, uh, reverse lights. Uh, the top half of the ladder is attached. The other portion that was in the front compartments there actually latches onto here and then hangs down. And you can be able to climb up from there. Um, inside here, is is where you check your engine oil. You got your engine oil here, which is your dipstick here. So a yellow one that says engine oil. Uh, you check your antifreeze here with this long tank there, power steering fluid. This is where you fill the engine oil. Transmission fluid here. You got dipstick and this is also where you fill it. And then here is your air filter. Uh, this is actually what tells you when you need to change your filters. To lock it up, you got a little square key, a little round key here, fits inside here, and just a rotator, rotate it around, you'll be able to open it up and lock it up. And on this side, start up here, set your rear furnace, uh, same thing applies on the other side, this, it does get hot, this is the exhaust for the furnace. 
Uh, down below that is your Insta Hot Aqua Go water heater. Okay, inside here um, is for like when you're winterizing, if you want to winterize yourself. Um, there's different ways to do it. Uh, first off, you know, you got the power switches here. So it's just a switch on or on, and then the center is off. So right now we have it on off because we've got it winterized. Um, this here is how to drain. Just pull it out. This little thing. In this compartment here, you've got your uh, fuse center. Uh, everything, all your battery connections are hooked here. You got a couple solenoids here that will actually pass through power. Um, you got your magnum system in here, it's your bridge system, which is going to uh, let you know inside uh, what your voltages are at. Um, then we'll kind of go through those on the other side, on the inside there. Now, in front of the axle here, we've got a pass through compartment. Um, and then you got your Dirt Devil um, central vac system. Uh, you pull the door off here. This is where you get your, uh, where the bags come, uh, you get put in, and then all your filters around it. Uh, next compartment over. This one right here. Same on the other side, there's one on each side. This is your um, vent, um, and then the other one is um, for filling the gravity fill of your freshwater tank. I'm just going to cap it, twist on. Um, inside here, you got a 12 volt outlet. This right inside here, and you got your uh, outlet, which is GFI protected. Uh, which is GFI is inside in the bathroom. Next compartment over. We've got the pass-throughs from the other side. Uh, that side's with the drawer. And then the one next to it here has a drawer of its own with a tile, the extra ladder, and then your grout. So the yellow handle there allows it to come out and lock, and pull the handle to release it, and then push it back in. Okay. Compartment here is just a, a big storage compartment, which is nice. Um, underneath here is your propane port. You can actually hook up one of the camp grills to. Uh, it's just a quick connect here. And then the valve here, we'll turn it on. Okay. Up here, just like on the other side, um, you got the fuel door here. This is for your diesel, you can fill up on either side, which is nice. Um, but the DEF is all just on the, on the driver's side. Everything locks with some keys here. The 785B is a key that locks your fuel doors. Same key locks both doors on both sides. All right, outside here we got your uh, entertainment center. Uh, the lock style here, uh, the key number is 507CH. This fits inside just a normal key. Be able to turn it all the way around. Push that button in. Pops out. Pick it right up. Inside here, you got your uh, your TV. Everything's uh, wired into inside. You can get your cable uh, on your satellite if you end up getting a satellite. Um, here, you got your radio which is also, um, you can use your aux cord, um, DVD player, and CD player. 
your SD card, and also a USB port you can actually put in for um, like a flash drive for music or, or a movie. You got both speakers out here. Okay, the cool thing is too, you got a key fob for your awnings. Uh, you can run your patio awning or your door awning. You got an awning above the door and an awning on this side, on this slide right here. So how this works for the patio awning, you got open and close. Just hit the button and watch her open up. Just roll out. Right there. And then your door awning, which is on the bottom. Hit that button. And she goes out too. Now you're closed off. You have plenty of shade, plenty of uh, shade from all the rain that comes down, everything. Um, in order to close them up, the yellow button on the bottom says close. Closes up your door, door awning. And then your patio awning. Alright, now inside, here we've got two switches. Um, these switches here for your awnings. These are the manual switches versus your key fob here. Just extend is on top, retract is on the bottom. Um, this is for the door, this is for your uh, patio awning. Uh, next to those are your slide room switches. Now these are these two switches here are both for the front um, living slides. Um, in order to in order to open those slides, I'm going to turn the key on and start the coach. So the key to start the coach, you got your big key, rubber coated key, goes inside your ignition. This little coil here, you want to make sure that shuts off before you start it. Start it up. And then come over and hit the switch in the out position. The slide room is going to push itself out. Until it stops. Right now, it's a it's a level floor. So it's a flush floor there. So everything's out. All right. The switch next to it. You got the key, and then the switch alongside of it. You hit extend. It's going to pull the locks in on the side. You got one in the front and one in the rear. The locks are pulling in. And then have, once they're all the way in, then it'll start running itself out. And this is a full wall slide, so it goes from right behind the driver's seat all the way to the back in the bedroom. So you got your kitchen, your living room, and then your bedroom wardrobe. Once the slide rooms are out, you have your slide topper. It goes over top of the slides, it goes from one end all the way to the other. Keeps the majority of the debris and the rainwater off. Uh, helps them keep them clean, helps them uh, roll in. All right, and starting on this side, you've got your uh, full couch here. Um, it does open up into an L-shaped sectional. You got the little lever here that locks it into place. So you can't actually push it back in. Now you lift it up, you can actually pull it in and it locks itself in. Um, pull this strap here, pulls your cushion out and lays it down inside there. 
And then your other cushion here goes right on the back. So now you got a full size couch, a recliner. Uh, both sides here have recliners. Uh, inside here, you got little pull levers. Right inside there. So that one opens up that way. And this one is over here. Both recliners on both sides. Be able to put those in. And also, for extra to sleeping storage and sleeping space, you can lift both of these off along with the arm. Just got two pins to hold it up. And pull your couch out and pull the bed out. Now, underneath the bed, you've got um, your seat belts for this too, which we did add the, the third seat belt. Um, all your seat belts are underneath there. You pull this out just like a normal pull out bed. And lay it out. So you got a full full size bed here you will be able to sleep a couple extra people and on this side here we've got your dinette table which actually pulls out just a little bit for uh, a little bit extra room there um, underneath here is where you latch it and just latch it into place so you can't pull it out now both chairs have straps on them that hold them into place um, that way they're not moving all over the place when you're running down the road. Um, underneath there you've got cabinets and drawers with plenty of space underneath. Um, drawers inside here. All the way around up above. You've got your um, cabinet space in, on each side. Up above. On this side here, it's just a pull-out desk. It's kind of nice to be able to have, you know, put your laptop on there, be able to do some work on that side of it. Um, over here, get more storage up above. And inside here, you got your audio video cables inside here for like a DV player or Blu-ray player. And then you also have your TV left switch here. TV lift, you lift it up, and out comes your TV. Goes all the way up. Covers up the window. And there you be. All right, and then right here, you got a pantry cupboard. Got your inside insert here that's hinged. Get a little lock hammer here. You gotta pull up in order to release it. Got plenty of storage on this side. And the same on that side. Plus all your drawers inside. You got a little push button here. Pressure switch for your light inside there so you can be able to see what you're looking for when you're inside. Pulls that back up. Lock that up. That there, and we got drawers underneath. Nice deep drawers. Plenty of storage in this coach. It's always nice to have. And then next to it, we got your double door stainless fridge. Inside, we've got uh, both double doors here, and you got your drawers underneath, above. And then your pull-out fridge, the freezer, with an ice maker inside, which we've actually winterized. All right, and start over here. Up above us here, we've got a uh, fan. It's a vent fan. Um, it's actually 
open up. Um, when you got plenty of storage space up here, your microwave is actually plugged in right in here. Uh, a little plug inside there, so I'll run right through. Your convection microwave inside here, which you can actually use it as an oven since there's no oven in the coach. Um, down here, we've got your induction cooktop. Now, for this, you have to use a steel or cast iron pan, so aluminum pans do not stick and do not heat up on this. Um, underneath it here, you've got your dishwasher, which well, is all set up right there. Got different drawers in here, along with all your remotes. Like I said before, there's plenty of storage in here, which is nice to have. You got your sink. Once you got your sink top cover here, it leaves you with a pretty, pretty big sink here. You have a pull out sprayer. Rotates both sides, hot and cold, both sides. You see the top covers go right back over top. Gives you that more counter space that we're always looking for. Up above here, there's more storage. Some big storage space up up top there. Same over here. Down below, the soap dishes, your Scotch brights, stuff like that, on both sides. Um, underneath the sink comes a nice little trash can. Goes underneath there, cupboard space. Um, down below that, you've got your LP detector. Um, as long as there's a green light on it, you know it's 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 doing its job. When it does go off, uh, it's going to sound just like a fire alarm. You just want to make sure that um, you get out when it's when that happens. Uh, down here, we've got another uh, nice tall cupboard. Be able to put your uh, uh, taller pans and uh, stuff like that inside there. Uh, we're going to start off here. This is your main panel here. This is all touch screen. Uh, kind of gives you all the answers, all your different things that's going on, um, your lights. So if we go to entry here, it tells you with all the darkened lights that are on, uh, little buttons here that's telling you what's on and what's off. Uh, right now the awning lights are off, porch lights off, under coach is on, entry ceiling and luggage. So it's just a matter of clicking those and that's what turns everything off. Same for the living room, the rear. This also works your vents. So your power vents, the vent we have in the uh, kitchen area here is for the living room. Now to open it, there's little switches, uh, little push buttons on here that'll open it. And then you turn the power on where it says power. So to adjust it, if it's on, um, if you want it to turn it down a little bit, there's a little dials here that you can turn it from three, two, one, and then off. Um, so as long as this is on, everything will work on that panel. Okay, we'll shut it. Hit vent. Hit power. And then hit lower. The vent will shut. And we're good to go. There's also a vent in the half bath, which is in the right here. And you also have one in the rear bathroom that all work from here. Okay? Okay, and then this, when you hit home, uh, this is going to bring you up to everything that you have right here. This is going to give you your fresh tank, gray tank, black tank, and then your LP. This is all your monitors. Uh, it's telling you how full everything is. Um, underneath it is your water heater. So you just hit that and it'll turn it on. 
um, and then next to it's your water pump. You can turn your water pump on from here as well. Um, down here, this is telling you your DC voltage uh, for the house is, F, is HSE. So you got 14.4 volts. And then your chassis, which is CHS 14.6. Um, right now we're plugged into 50 amp power. So it's telling you that on line one, um, you got 122 volts and on line two, 125 volts. Um, AC power, it's basically the same thing here. It's telling you your 50 amp shore power is what you're hooked into right now. Um, tells you that your uh, your inverter is, is a pass-through. It's just letting power go through. Um, so the actual inverter is not on. It is charging, but it's not uh, it's not actually inverting. All right, from here you can tell uh, the hours of the generator. Uh, you can turn the generator on, start it from here. Um, also letting you know your uh, inverter it's just a pass-through right now. Uh, so it's not actually inverting, it's charging but not inverting. The block heater, you can turn that on from here. Uh, DC power, it tells you house and chassis, amps drawn, uh, what your charger is doing, it's actually absorbing right now. Same with the inverter, it's just uh, it has a path through. Um, down in here, this is your climate control. So this is everything uh, for your furnace, for your air conditioners, uh, from front, mid, and rear. Um, so actually the front furnace, you can turn that on. Mid furnace, or mid, there's no furnace in the middle. In the rear, you got a furnace in there too as well. Um, as far as air conditioner goes, um, so you got a cool heat pump and auto off and then the rear you have the same thing so there's a front and the rear air conditioner heat pump um, in the middle with the cool and off so you all all three of these have your, uh, your air conditioners uh, your temp settings you can set the temps here just by the plus and minus here um, Pretty much can, takes care of everything on that panel. Okay, this is your half bath. So here you got your vent fan. That's also controlled at the panel outside. Um, you turn that, uh, and also the panel on the wall here. The panel on the wall gives you your lights, your up and down for your uh, vent, and then your fan turn on and off here. Get your water pump switch. And then this is actually, you can turn your living room lights off from here as well. And everything's lit here in white, and it means it's off. There's a blue, it means that it's on. Um, inside here, you got your vanity. You got your mirrors on both doors, a door there, and then the center is just a mirror. You got storage space above. On the back side here, this isn't storage. This is your uh, fuse panel, the breaker panel, everything's right inside there. Um, from your air conditioners to your converter to your um, inverters, uh, your washer and dryer, uh, stuff like that. Now over here to the sink, you've got um, just below the sink, you got your GFI, which actually you reset. Uh, so the buttons on there is just normal household uh, GFI. Underneath there you got your space underneath there. The toilet. It's a foot pedal toilet with a sprayer hooked up on the side. And then you pan over here to your washer and dryer. Behind these two doors. Pull them open. Cool thing is so they're not just kind of hanging here. You push them in. And they hide away. So you got your washer here, your dryer up in here. All right, and to close off the bathroom, so you have a little privacy. It's magnetic. So you got magnet on this side, and magnet on this side, um, just to be able to shut it 
close it up. And then we'll hold it closed. Um, on the bottom, actually, uh, right on the wall there, we've got one of your ports for your um, central vac unit. Your hoses and everything are in the back here. We'll show you those once we get back here. Um, coming into the bedroom, we've got uh, a two-style door here. You push down on the lever. It unlocks it from holding in place and then closes off um, all the way across. You push down on the button again and it will actually open the door wide open. Alright, back here, uh, just like the other ones, we do have to start the coach in order to run the slider mount for the bed. So right now it's running, we hit the button out, and the room comes out. In order for the room to come out, all the, or to come in, the bed has to be up. There is a bed lift, so it actually lifts the bed straight up. Um, so we have to have that up in order for the room to come in. Alright, in order to get the bed down, you're going to switch on each side of the bed, right below the outlet. Uh, one side's up, one side's down. Just hit the button and it runs the bed down. Gives you a lot more room in the bed. Uh, got a lot more room in the bed too, or in the bedroom. Up above the bed there, we've got six cabinets, plenty of storage above. Um, and then you work your way over here. We've got closets on both sides. Nice big open, you got um, closet rods inside. Also a pressure switch along for light, so you can be able to see what you're getting at when you're inside there. Um, you got your TV which is mounted here, it's also a door, so it opens up. And on the back side here, we've got all your cable connections, your um, HDMI cords, aux cables, everything's all hooked in uh, what it needs to. These are just extras for uh, DVD players, uh, Blu-ray players type of thing. Plenty of storage in here for uh, DVDs, that type of thing. Closing it up here. Um, underneath here, you got plenty of storage. Uh, nice countertop there. Plus, you got uh, deep drawers here. Uh, four in total. So nice to have just for your fold up clothes type. And your other cabinet here. Um, inside here. Um, kind of a, we got your box here that has all your manuals in your bag. It's got all your manuals for the coach itself and all your manuals for every appliance um, that's inside the coach as well. Um, inside there you got a bunch of different goodies from the factory, uh, air hoses, your bags for your Dirt Devil extra water hose, um, other chemicals and stuff inside there. Up here, this is your, um, for all of your uh, central vac system, you got your hose, uh, your extra wand, and all your attachments as well. Underneath here, you've got your drawers inside here. It's made good space of the area. Alright, so we're running it up, and right next, right below that same switch, is your generator remote start, so you can actually start the generator from in the bedroom, if you're running just on battery. Alright, so we're in the back bathroom, uh, you got both doors here that are actually shut, they're magnetic as well, it's just a matter of pulling them open. Locking them shut. Be able to have your little privacy. 
Uh, inside here, you've got a little lock for your shower. Now this one here, when you're driving down the road, you always want that locked in place. So your door doesn't come open. Open that up. Open that up. You got your shower. A nice a little open space above there for any tall people out there. Um, you got your hose and then your um, faucet there for your hot and cold. A nice seat in there if needed. Uh, it's adjustable uh, as far as height wise goes just by pushing the button up top um, and then just adjust down to wherever you need it to. Close that up there. Over here we got another GFI. Another GFI that if it needs to be reset is right here. You got your uh, vanity shut up here. You got your cabinet space, medicine cabinet. All three doors open. There's your plenty of storage here for the bathroom. You got your towel holders on the side wall there. Uh, one thing underneath here. We've got storage underneath here. And then on the side of the wall here, you've got a uh, switch for your water here. This here, uh, this little black switch here, um, that actually controls and tells you what, uh, how your water heater is working. Um, whether it's in eco mode, whatever, it's actually um, just a dial. So in the middle, there's four positions. And in the middle of those two positions, one of those four positions is off. So right now we have it on off uh, since we have it winterized. Um, on the other side here, we got a another closet here. Some closet rods, a couple extra chairs for up front. Um, Another vent fan inside here that you can actually control from your panel. It's on the other side of the door here. Up, down, same with the water pump. Everything's here. You get your up and down, and on and off, along with your water pump switch. Your toilet was actually, um, there's no foot pedal on this one. This one here is uh, it's an automatic flusher, so you got the little panel here um, on the side wall here, which is two different buttons. Um, the one on the left is going to be for um, for the just the liquids. And the one on the right is going to be for solids. So it's just a different in size of flush, size of water used when flushing. For this panel here this is your antenna booster here so with a green light on is antenna green light off is cable down here this is your antenna you just spin it 360 degrees but it will not spin all the way now the idea here is to get as many blue lights as possible to get your reception and to conclude the show through here, uh, we're actually in the cockpit area, driver, passenger side area. Um, all the different switches and stuff I'm going to kind of go through one by one and go from there. Okay, and starting out here, we got your uh, leveling system. So in order to have that, you need to have it on, the key on. You hit the on button going to tell you to wait. Engine needs to be running. We'll fire that up. And now these arrows here are telling you where is low. So right now the front and the right is low. Okay. So in order to run your system, you can run it auto mode. With the auto mode, it's going to run everything. Um, automatically so it's going to run the fronts down backs down and then adjust it as it needs to find itself uh, level up front here we've got your shifter selector so you got drive neutral and reverse um, these here are your mode and your uh, you can actually manually shift 
through that as well. You can look at that through your um, through your manual on the on the coach. Um, so basically, just drive or reverse in neutral. Neutral is your park. So I'm gonna hit neutral, and then up here, this yellow uh, square here. This is your uh, brakes. So you just pop that, and it actually pops your brakes and, and makes you uh, stop. The switch up here, this is your engine brake. Uh, so when you're running down the road, you let off the gas. It's actually going to start braking you without actually hitting the brake. Uh, this one here is your lights. So you got your, um, your clearance lights for the first click. Second click is your headlights. And over here, you got your bright switch and your dims. Next to it here is your fog lights, and then your dim and bright for your uh, instrument cluster. So your bright or dim, just dim it down however you want to. Um, next to that, you've got your front blinds, so your power blinds up here, so you can run those up or down, and then your shade as well. So your shade is behind the actual uh, the blind. Up here you got your docking lights. It's just your lights outside. That makes it a little easier to see when you're backing up. This red switch here, which turns the light on, affects your power mirrors. It's power, uh, your heated mirrors. So that red light on means that your mirrors are being heated now. Your mirror switch, you got left, right, and then the center is, is neutral. Um, this one here is actually for your dash, um, your pre your little center piece here tells you your tire pressures, uh, your engine maintenance, antennas, asking different questions uh, just to make sure that everything is, is good when you leave. So making sure your antenna's down, which the antenna's not up, uh, disconnect power, disconnect water, sewer, make sure all the doors are closed, shower doors locked, roof vents closed, awning arms are locked, countertop clear, all doors locked, drawers latched, appliances secure, slides in, secured, windows closed, kind of goes through everything you need to for everything there. Uh, you got your trip, tells you everything there. Odometer, distance, and how much fuel you use, type of thing. Okay, so over here. air pressure on both front and rear and then you also have your temperature gauge here now your smart wheel here you got your horn in the center uh, you flash your lights here and you flash your brights in the front in the middle here your cruise on off set resume and cancel your ICC light switch to flash your ICC lights um, your windshield wipers, high and low sprayers, and then your intermittent, and then off. Down here, we got your radio switch, which is there's two different positions. You got travel, which it's on when the key's on, or you park, which is the top. So when the key is off, and you have it in park position, the actual radio will be on all the time. Next to that is your generator switch to turn your generator on. Uh, next to that is your uh, keyless entry. So you can lock and unlock the door up front. Uh, your utility lights. And then your auxiliary start. So your auxiliary start is for um, if anything were to happen with your chassis batteries 
ones will allow you to start. You would turn the key on, push this button, and then it would take power from your house batteries to start the coach. Over here, we got your touchscreen radio. Um, everything here, just a matter of you know pushing the button to wherever, what station you want. Different menus. You got USB, Sirius radio, Bluetooth, um, aux, iPod, um, all kinds of different things here. You got uh, capability of navigation. It's not set up, but you can get it uh, installed. Um, on this side you have your monitor for your um, backup camera and your side view cameras so right now that would be your left hand turn right hand turn and then your reverse so different um, different ones to, to show you what you got going on so you can actually change the channels you got channel one two and three are the three videos that you have channel one is your reverse channel two is left and channel three is right so I always like to keep it on uh, channel one that way you can see what's behind you at all times okay down here on there you got a USB port be able for your radio you can actually hook in um, and then also your aux cord plugs into there for uh, audio on here. Now, under here you got all your, uh, your climate control for the dash, AC and heat, um, your AC and then your um, extra recirculator here, your fan, and then all your positions and then your temps. On the seats here, you got the uh, adjusters here. You can actually go forward, backwards, up, down. Uh, and then next to it is actually your rotator. You can actually rotate your chair all the way around to be able to uh, use these as chairs in the back as well. It locks into place. Your seat belt here. And then the same on the um, passenger seat. As you can see now, you've got your step cover switch which actually is going to come over top of the steps here when we hit that switch it runs this piece out over top of the steps so that when you're sitting in the chair you're not going to fall through I'm going to close that and just hit the switch the other way and good to go